There was once a boy, and he had a younger brother who was mournful. The older boy put a silver saddle on his horse one day, and mounting the horse, turned to the younger and said, Sam, you've won. A thief behind a tree nearby overheard this and said to himself, by tomorrow at this time it will be I who have won. But he was mistaken, as mournfulness cannot be acquired in a day. There was once a poor man who was hungry all the time. How dare you, how dare you, he shouted out the window to people hurrying to the shops on the street below. But experience of disappointment cannot be taught and the people were deaf to his queries then, just as they are now. There was once a sailor who had so many nicknames, he no longer remembered what it was he should properly be called. He sat in the dark and gazed at the sea until his eyes ached, and he wondered why the sea, which resembled an eye, never gazed back at him. But heroic efforts often fail, perhaps because emotion is often a poor teacher. There was once a princess who longed to be a cowboy, but by virtue of her sex, she was kept in the house without any shoes. I'm no more dangerous than a mouse, she said one morning to the miller, who simply pointed to the baited mouse traps with which he protected the flour produced at his mill. Yes, restlessness is a characteristic of human existence, and neither travel nor rapacity can exhaust it. There was once an astronomer who earned his living by promising glory to the king. On weekends, he sat quietly with his daughter doing math. Efficiency, he told her, is best served by contemplation. Now that was an excellent astronomer, and he is admired in pedagogical circles even today as a man who prepared for every lesson in advance. There was once a doctor who had a kind heart and long fingers, and he lived by himself in a room over a bakery. Everyone likes you plump and warm, the doctor would say to each of his patients, which was just what he heard the baker saying to his muffins as he took them from their tins. And so we see that to a reader in communication with a writer, more and more information is made available. That doctor was a rogue. Moral one, we are never the worse for our dreams, and a nightmare should not always be taken as a sign of a bad conscience. Moral two, serenity, serenity can be achieved through fussiness, although probably only for the fussy. Moral three, <laughs> true justice is never abstract and should therefore not be blindfolded. That's what we can learn from these tales and from other tales too.